My name's Rob Siegel, I'm 51, I'm a football agent and I'm head of a company called Impact Sport Management. So Rob, if you were Prime Minister for a day, what one thing would you do? I'd try and remember the people that voted for me, remember my policies and stop changing things as we go along. That's what I find very irritating with politicians. Okay. What's your favourite kit of all time? Easy. Spurs, early 70s, simple, white shirt, cockerel, material, perfect. One thing you love and one thing you hate about football? I love the game, love match day, hate cheats, can't stand players that roll around for fun, go over like they've been hit by a torpedo. If football could learn one thing from another sport, what would it be? Leave the referees alone. Just leave them alone. What's the best thing about football? Winning. Winning. The best thing for a supporter is seeing their team win. Some more of Paul Robinson's England stuff. Shirts, it's gloves. If you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would it be? To be more patient and understand people. When I was younger, I probably didn't understand where people were coming from when they had their reasons. What are you most looking forward to about tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday. It's a good day. Only one more day till there's a game. Okay. Where's the strangest place you've been recognised? In a toilet. On a, in a beach bar in my bar. By a manager. A lower league manager. <laughs> and I signed him. In the toilet. You're looking at me as though you want to know the name of that manager. <laughs> Carl Robinson, MK Dons. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Beckham captain's armband from whoever England played October 03. What will be written on your tombstone? He was a good guy, I hope. Honest, fair. Good negotiator. Good dad. Good husband. Good agent. If they can get that all on, that would be a nice big team there. What was the first football match you went to? It would have been early 70s. I grew up in Wembley. So I always used to try and um, get to the Wembley games. Normally, in those days, they used to have railings that pulled across when it was full time. So, in those railings at the bottom, I was small enough to crawl under. With about 15 minutes to go and get in. Uh, who is your favourite football pundit? Jeff Stelling. By far the best broadcaster and pundit. Easily. And it's nothing to do with the fact that I'm his agent either. If you could attend one game from history, what would it be? 1966 World Cup Final. I've watched it in black and white, I've watched it in the remix colour. That must have been fantastic that day. David Bentley's boots, one of his caps. His England boots. And who is the greatest British footballer of all time? Bobby Moore. For everything, for his timing, the way he conducted himself. I, I do remember watching him play probably last few games for West Ham. Whenever there was, he, he played at Tottenham, I, would have, I remember watching him. Certainly remember watching him for Fulham, for Orient. I remember watching him then, and even then, as he was getting old, he was still just magnificent. Yeah, Bobby Moore.